Hello and welcome to this YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a reflection using text. Uh, this process can be applied for any image you have. All you have to do is copy the part of the image you want, reflect it and flip it vertically. The rest of the uh, tutorial still applies and uh, I hope you enjoy. Right, so uh, we've got our sheet here and this is a um, thousand 920 pixels by 1080 pixels so uh, gives us a nice widescreen um, image and I'm, I'm going to use this picture here I uh, found this on Google you can probably find it too just type in C I know original but hey, I quite liked it so I thought I'm going to use it um, right that's quite I, I do like the um, background the uh, the sky and the sunset and that horizon and I think this is quite atmospheric so um, yeah, this is why I'm using it mainly so um, now we're going to add our text and we're going to be reflecting this text and that is absolutely tiny I can't even see what I'm writing there um, alright, 230 I use that kind of font size a, a lot uh, why isn't that working? So small, I can't even read it. Right, text 230. That's good. Right, so, uh, shock horror. This is what I'm gonna write. Uh, obviously, this can work for anything you write. Um, and I'm going to find the font I want to use. That's quite nice. Get our bank Gothic. Yeah. That's quite nice. I like that. I'm just going to use this tool here. And this is, um, is going to allow us to uh, you know, change different aspects of this uh, the text. So I'm going I'm to highlight it all by double clicking on this, the text box here, text box, the uh, little box that has a T in it. And um, we can change this so it's really bunched up or fairly spaced out. And I want it to be, uh, it's probably good as it is, but I, I want this to be a bit, a bit taller. Okay, I want this to come up a bit. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, this is good. This is what I want. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do with it. But obviously, if you play around with it, you're going to get some more effects. And we're going to click yes, tick. It's always nice to get a tick. Uh, well, not a tick. Uh, one of those little bugs that latches onto you. And yeah, those, no, those aren't good. But uh, ticks are generally. I'm going to stop saying it. Never mind. Um, I'm going to add a little drop shadow into this. You're not going to be able to see much. So, oh, so I can't see anything at the moment. So I'm going to assume that's correct. Nine. I will change the colour of this text. This is black. What a boring colour. I want to go for something more fun. Like a off-white grey. Yep off white grey and I think that drops in a shadow is just a little too much I want it to be very subtle that's better okay so um now that we've got this done and I spelt this correctly and um, we're gonna make we're gonna duplicate this layer and we're gonna do this by doing that and we're gonna bring this lead uh, this copy the whole layer down and we're gonna press shift and move it how we would move it normally. Bring it a bit further down so I can work with it. And then we're going to go to oh, uh, image, transform, flip, vertical. And it's just going to um, reflect it uh, along this baseline here. And we're going to uh, gradually move it up to the top. I don't want it touching, I want it to have a bit of depth to it. So 
So I'm just going to nudge it down a couple of pixels. Maybe one more. And uh, I'm happy with that. So, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press um, this button here. And this is going to... I'm going to press this button here and this is going to be give me a, um, a mask. So there you can see that. That's come up on the mask. And a mask um, literally allows us to see choose what we see and what we don't see in its most basic form we can um white means that we see everything uh the mask is translucent uh transparent and black um means that anything uh that is on the mask becomes darker it becomes more opaque did i say that right hmm, i'm not sure <laughs> I'll probably I'll probably uh, change that in a bit. So I'm going to make sure my uh, black white setup here, and I'm going to use a gradient tool to uh, to fade this part out. And we're going to go to the gradient tool. I'm going to make the top left one selected. Select. Oh, okay. Selected the um, this one here. Selected so the linear kind of thing. Blend mode to normal. Opacity to 100 and Dither and transparency um, selected. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to press shift and pull down my uh, mask. And can we see that that's uh, taken away the um, yeah, it, it's taken away some of the graphics. It's get it's become more transparent. Yeah, so black makes stuff transparent. Um, white brings something completely opaque so we can't see through it and we see it as we would normally okay uh, glad I got that done and um, now I'm, I'm gonna play around with the opacity of of my uh, gradient a bit just so I can see less or more of my picture so uh, I definitely want to see more than that but not that much I want to bring it down to this, what was that, 76 Obviously, you do what makes your picture look its best, and that's um, a very simple uh, reflection. And we can see that it reflects it uh, well, uh, and it doesn't look as if it's the centerpiece. It looks it's darkened it. Look at this; it's, it's a tad darker. This is due to the um, well one. The background I'm working on, and two because it's you know it's slightly opaque, uh, like slightly transparent. So uh, yeah, that, that I I like that. I think that looks good. But I, I want to make this picture look a little bit better than it does now. So I'm gonna put some uh, lighting effects on here. So I'm gonna go to filter, render, lighting effects, and I'm going to use the omnidirectional light. And it's going to be placed in the center and I'm going to bring this out to the edges Actually, I'm going to... we'll see how that looks first and uh, I want it to be quite shiny that's probably a bit too much shine you know um, it's way too intense there Bring it up just a bit. Okay, I'm gonna click OK, and we can see the dark. The edges have darkened out a little, and that's just going to bring our eye into the picture a little. And I might, I might even just um, re-render that one to make it a little less, and bring that light just a little bit in. And that, and yeah, that that works much better now. We can see that darken effect it just draws our eye into the picture and um, yeah, that's good um, another little thing I'm going to add to this is I'm, I'm going to put another lighting effect so I'm going to go to filter render but I'm going to put a lens flare I'm going to put the lens flare in the middle of the picture I'm going to have it on um, what looks best uh, the 50 to 300 millimeter zoom and I'm going to bring that down just a little. 
press OK, and we can see a slight lens flare across here, and I think it just adds to this image just a tad. Right, so um, that looks pretty much finished, and the good thing about having this um, mask here is that whatever um, text I want, whether it be later on or you know, as long as I save it as a PSD, I have you know, there's I do not have to um, check you know, remake this. So if I wanted to, I can uh, I'm gonna I can bring that up, move it down a bit, and uh, if I do, if I don't like the text, I can change it to uh, well whatever I like. So um, yeah, can you see it works? If I just type that and uh, hit the OK button, text down here. Then it, it, it yeah it works it uh it works for whatever the text you have whatever um, size it is but what I would say is that I would do this mask to um to the height the most um, common point so if I have uh if I have on this capital letters. Um, oh, okay. Hint, hint. I would put my mask to the top of this C because all of these letters line up, and we have it will be less awkward. We get more of a um, fade out on the bottom here. Obviously, we, we're going to put this mask on the bottom. I'm just showing you as it's going to be easier to show you on this top bit. So. Uh, Thank you for watching, uh, rate, comment and subscribe.